Hey, 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 good morning. Today we're looking at Love, Death, Robots, another film in the anthology theories. Today we're looking at Fish Night, which is about two salesmen. And these two salesmen, their car breaks down in the middle of the desert. They got nothing to do. And then out of nowhere, there's, there, well, between these two guys, there's an older guy and a younger guy. The older guy is like, man, isn't it weird how we always assume you know creepy houses have ghosts you know the humans who once lived there but like we're in this desert that used to be an ocean can you imagine all of the creatures that lived out here at one point point? and the younger guy says I'm going to bed <laughs> and when they wake up there's a magical magical like legend of Korra looking ass like spirits all around them it's very unclear like if they're ghosts or whatever I mean I guess we're going to assume that there is like a point where one of the fish eats another one and I'm like okay how does that work if it's already dead and then a bigger question is raised because one of the guys he the younger guy he is gung-ho about these fucking fish like he's He's kind of like touching them a little bit more than he should, and he's like, having, he's having too good of a time, a little too fast. And then at one point, he's like, I want to swim! Um, and he takes off all his clothes and runs and jumps into like this school of fish. And he, uh, like, he obviously, like, they're obviously on some kind of bridge between this other world, and he has crossed it because his body is no longer like before when they were touching the fish they like went right through him it was like transparent kinda he is now like a f part of this this spiritual world in a physical sense like he touches them now and they bounce off of his hand and the other guy he sees like this spirit shark thing um, which by the way, just talking about all the spirits real quick, um, there's some like creatures that obviously are like prehistoric and they are beautiful. Um, there's a quote in this movie that like said, um, the man, like the earth sure is old. Um, and you really got that sense when you see all these different kinds of animal and aquatic life that I am not familiar with our ancestors, uh, in a sense. So very interesting, um, but yeah, the movie ends when this guy is yelling, he's, he's, there's a shark, look behind you, you dumbass fucking kid. Shark comes, eats the dude up, cut to black. We don't even really linger on that, like it immediately, he's just like, <gasps> cut to black. And there's no like higher, and I think I've said this in a couple short films, like I'm all for a good tragedy. Like, I, I can be a sad boy any day of the week, but I like for all stories to kind of not even necessarily, like, have a moral or a silver lining, but I like development. I like the journey. This feels not really much like a journey. It kind of just feels like information, like, oh, this guy then died, the end. Like... I just needed a little bit more than that and I was very still curious as to this whole how this whole fish spirit world thing worked so I kind of wanted more information on that I do get that it's like a 10 minute film but whatever I'm talking about some other things the animation style for this one um, it was good after all these like photorealism movies to kind of get back to the more interestingly animated stuff. Can you hear that motorcycle outside? Um, this one in particular, like, had a very video gamey 3D CG effect. Um, and I know one of like the the reviews I was reading, it was like, oh man, the animation looks great. And I was like, this just looks like the fucking Telltale games. <laughs> this looks like uh, like a cheap video game, which. In fairness, like, maybe I'm just jaded to the style, because I know, because I'm used to it, but it does look better than, like, your average scene from those games, but, like, again, this is supposed to be, like, a movie. Like, some of the other films in this series, like, are beautiful, and 
required a lot more effort than I think uh, they put into this one. So, um, I was debating whether this one was getting a 5 or a 6. Again, these are all, like, a 6 out of 10 can be a fucking spectrum. So, keep that in mind. Like, at Sunny's Edge, or... W w a lot of these I've been giving 6s, but they're all over the spectrum. So, gonna give Fish Knight 6 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next one. Um... This was a good one, definitely worth watching, like, it was very, like, w when the, the, the spirit fishes came out, like, it was, it was that kind of magical stuff that, like, I love about these films. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one, and with that, I leave you.